Kate, Mr. Kate, whatever you want to call me. I think I always say that. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Hello guys, it's Kate here. I want to give you a tour of my place because I want you guys to understand that I actually live this Mr. Kate lifestyle that I'm not just full of shit and preaching to you about like, oh, do this and that, that I actually live it. So let's take a look. Oh, could use a little WD-40. Knock, knock. I'm Mr. Kate. I'm here. I'll take a look at your place. Oh, I'll drop by for a while. I'll help you find your style. We'll laugh. We'll paint. I'm Mr. Kate. Yay! So this is my place. It's a rental. And um, as you can tell, it's decorated. A lot of people don't put effort into their rental spaces because they're like, eh, it's a rental. I'm only going to live there for like a year or two years. But I say no. I say put some effort into it. It's your home. Even if you're going to live here for two years, it's two years out of your life. It should be cozy and mean something to you. So this is my living room. Um, I always say start with a color palette. For me, it was these two carpets that I had. I used this as my inspiration. So we took these colors up. We got some spray paint, my favorite thing. We spray painted just these random frames that I have. Some of this is my artwork. This was actually an Ikea bookshelf. We sawed out the shelves to create this space for the TV. And then, I don't know if you guys know this, but I color coordinate my books. It's a little psycho. This is my dining room. This is a total DIY table. These were chairs from my old dining room space. This was a couch that my mom gave me. Like anything you can find kind of like on the side of the street or gifted or whatever, you can make it work. I actually picked up a frying pan off the side of the road the other day. So I don't know if someone took a poop in it or something, but uh, it's sterilized. All right, so here we are. We're in my backyard space. It's very urban because it's asphalt. So this is our garden. It's actually this type of gardening called square foot gardening where you build up because obviously we didn't have any soil to plant in. So instead we created our own um, bed by building this box, filling it with compost and soil. And then actually underneath, you can't really see it, but there is a well of water. We've got cucumbers, we've got kale. I love kale. I literally live off of kale. I steam kale. I it, I put it in pasta. I love me some kale. Your diet is part of your lifestyle, so I never call it a diet. I always just call it a lifestyle. Yeah, I'm actually a vegan, but I'm not preachy about it at all. You know, I run the gamut. I'm a girl. I've had issues in the past with food and whatever, like some women have. I've been obsessive about working out. I haven't worked out before. You know, I've, I've, I've definitely been a little head casey about it in the past. So I now have my workout schedule. Even if I only have like 20 minutes, I'll like jog around the neighborhood for 10 and then come and like do some abs or whatever. Like just to be physical. Okay, let me give you a little peek at my closet. Vintage and cheap stuff pretty much rule my life. Thrift store, flea market, thrift store, Goodwill. There's a thrift store. Name, name dropping my thrift stores. <laughs> That's so cool. I like Forever 21, I like H&M, I get cheap shoes. Don't tell anyone. So this is my bedroom. This is a stone carving I made of a naked lady in high school. You know what, it's very hard to chisel in this Bed, oh another like DIY thing we did. This was a canopy bed, we took off the canopy covered up the little attachments for the canopy with finials. These are finials that, that you put on the end of curtain rods. This was a piece of wood that we got from Home Depot. And then this little decoration right here, they have those for front doors. So we just tacked it on, painted it white, and it worked. There's some stains, but I kind of like the stains because, again, it's a story. You know, it's that Layers, like I love like layering flavors and food, layering outfits. Vintage stuff has layers of personality and stories and all of that. And I like having that stuff around me. 
It's comforting and cool. One last room. This became our office around the old media unit. This is actually the shelves that we cut out of that bookshelf in the living room. And we mounted them with shelf brackets and now it's the little desk for my little person. I'm a little person. My old lady, my granny, gave me this trunk when I was little. It was actually one of my favorite Christmas presents I ever got and I think she really infused my love for vintage stuff because she would always gift me things from the Salvation Army. She gave it to me in this big trunk and it became my dress up trunk. I'm not perfect. The Mr. K lifestyle is an imperfect one. It's just do your best and you know what? If you have some food in your teeth, whatever. Just like. Oh my god, the scary closet. <laughs> Thank god for this closet because I literally shove everything in here. Like, oh my god, someone's coming over. And this is how it looks. I'm actually really surprised that nothing fell out and toppled me to the floor. <laughs> so that's my tour. I think that's pretty much it. And I'm glad you guys came and thank you for watching.